Te Kia ora, welcome, good morning to everybody. This is exciting because we're coming to the end of the year, um, our last webinar for the year, and um, we've got an in-team thing going on. So I'm excited. Crystal's about to share some of the awesome work. It's really innovative and it's unique to her and her father. The stuff that she's been doing that um, was encapsulated within her study path and also um, comes under the manual of her role here in So it's um, going to be a great uh, lot of learning, especially for those of you who work out in the community and are looking to get into a co-design type space. Um, so without further ado, no my highly mighty there, nay auntie, welcome to the webinar space. Crystal, E rongo whakairi hi aki kiranga, hui e tae ki e. Uh, ko wai au, ko Crystal Piki po tōku ingoa, ko kahurana ki te maunga, ko ngaruroro, ko tukituki ngā awa, ko takitimu te waka, ko ngāti ngare ngare te hapū, ko, oh, ko haungarea te marae, uh, ko ngāti kahununu te iwi. Whakapiti atu e a kiwa ki te taho tōku pāpa, Ko rangi mō tia te maunga, ko avarua te au karanga nei te reo tōku tupuna, ko ngā vii tini kura pikipo, tangi ke, tangi ke, tangi ke rawa. Uh, kia ora whānau, so uh, this webinar is a presentation around a couple of models that I have produced for Toi Tangata as a community research and co-design specialist, as well as a model that I created and used in my studies at Te Wānanga o Raukawa. But uh, for, those of us, uh, for those of you who are um, new to these webinars and um, don't have any knowledge or not sure about um, Toi Tangata and what we do, um, our role is creating meaningful connections during on whakapapa and mā tauranga Māori approaches through physical activity and nutrition. Uh, that positively contribute to the continuation of whakapapa. Um, our vision here at Toi Tangata is tamatū tamaora, tamatū being the representation of all physical elements of our environment, our kai, our movement that create oranga with the understanding of the concept through physical activity we thrive. Uh, tamaora, the mana, the tapu and mauri of oranga, the metaphysical elements that encompass the well-being of whānau. So my role here at Toi Tangata is community research and co-design specialist and I, my role basically is applying a co-design approach um, within communities. Co-design is an approach to actively involve all stakeholders in a creative design process so the outcomes meet the needs of our whānau and our community. Uh, my current project with Toi Tangata is collaborating with researchers from Auckland, Massey and Otago Universities as part of the Healthier Lives National Science Challenge. So what I do is I uh, work alongside our Waithi, where I reside, um, 
and our our iwi here is Tiatiawa. This is my husband's whenua, and I work alongside our Waikato community, co-creating a technological tool delivering health and well-being to Māori Pacific Island communities through technology. Um, the idea of this project is to reduce the risks of non-communicable diseases for Māori and Pacific Island whānau. So Waikato is one of two Māori communities as part of this project, with um, Te Haora of Ngāti Whātua being our other community partner and contributor. Tokoroa Cook Island community and the Fono being our Pacific Island representatives in this project. Okay, so getting to the juicy part. Um, what we had, so our role as a co-design, co or my role as a co-design specialist, and my approach was um, looking deeper into whānau, whānau wellbeing. And so what I did was I created the model Te Hekinga Nui. Um, te Hekinga Nui was a way to, or a metaphoric model, to draw kōrero from whānau participants on what a navigational process of haura would look like from their perspective. Um, so Hawaii. Um, being the like contributing factors of why our people um, migrated and left Hawaii um, were famine, warfare, and so when we for to use this as, for our whānau, um it was used as a whakawā oranga or a aromatawai process to identify some of the things we may need to change or things we may need to release to fulfill a healthier lifestyle. So this is basically identifying um, some changes that we need to make um, or that our whānau needed to make during this wānanga process. The hekenga is the navigational process. So um, for whānau and in this wānanga, it was identifying what are the resources that are needed um, for them to make change or um, what are the barriers that they may face on their journey where they may need support to help them navigate to a, to a better haura or better wellbeing. And Aotearoa, so this Aotearoa was actually created by my son when he was six years old. He, he cut that out. He has quite a fetish with Maui, Te Ika Maui. And um, Aotearoa being the final resting place for our people, um, but also in this wānanga was the tukungaiho, or the outcome that they wish to achieve. Uh, so this was the, the model that was used and what we did was we was I paired our whānau up and it enabled them to have discussion uh, with each other about um, their hawaiki and their hekenga and what their tukunga iho would look like for them. And through that process, they were given crafts, some Play-Doh and... Um, to actually design a, a story or um, design a, a journey for their peer. So um, through the, the outcome of this wānanga, some of the kōrero that came out of it uh, was from one of our whānau, so this, was, this is their, their creative um, journey here, and the kōrero that came out of it was, we need to feed our hiningaro, not with food, but with mātauranga, knowledge. We need to feed ourselves with knowledge. If we don't feed ourselves with knowledge, ki te ngore kore te hiningaro. If it's kore kake, you'll go ka wiwi, ka wā wā. So, um, one of the pictures there with the, um, with the hammerhead shark, so this story was about resilience. Uh, this journey was about resilience and the resilience that 
um, and the endurance that we need to maintain our haora. Uh, the little mat that you can see with the ball in the middle, um, that is a representation of Rangi and Papa, and the ball in the middle there is the Māori, and so looking for balance. And um, the icebox stick with the pink wraparound, that's the Manu Aute, um, to guide to guide you on, on your journey. So this was one story that was created, and over here on the other side um, is a representation of one of our whānau who has heart problems and having to ensure that um, exercise and healthy kai is a part of his journey with the, um, the yellow paper there and the eyes is the representation of walking in the footsteps of our ancestors and knowing that those eyes are a representation of our tipuna who watch over us all the time. And um, the little ice block sticks is a representation of the waka uh, that will ensure a prosperous journey. So I guess from the idea of using this type of model, we were able to get real deep um, kōrero and it's not been able, you know, we don't have to keep digging and digging. Fano are able to resonate with, um, with these types of models because it's a representation of who we are and our whakapapa and our history. So um, from all that information that was gathered from that wānanga, um, I was able to use all that data and collect that data from the wānanga to establish four demo demographic profiles using all the information from the transcripts from that wānanga. And so our second wānanga was around um, te taenga mai ki Aotearoa, so continuing on that journey of te hekenga nui. And um, when we look at when our people came here to Aotearoa, they had to adjust and navigate uh, the different environment and climate and uh, tikanga and kawa emerged or changed. So this second wānanga was used as an idea or a way of navigating technology because the whole idea of these wānanga or this co-design process is for our whānau to create a form of technology to deliver to Māori and Pacific Island or to deliver health and wellbeing for Māori and Pacific Island. And so this is all part of this co-design, co-creation, co-creative process. So um, using these four profiles, um, what we did in this second wānanga was the first thing we did, if you can see all those little apps up top there, um, our whānau were asked to navigate all the different forms of technology that is available or that's deliverable to people. And um, these were some of the apps that were used. And so they were given five minutes at each station to navigate and um, discuss and write down the things that they liked, um, the things that they would would have liked to have added to that app, um, the things that they disliked. And from that experience, it's what you call a bus stop, um, but from that experience, we were able to... Can, we were able to immerse them with the profiles that were created. So there's four profiles below, and all the information in those profiles caught it all from the first one. And so um, they were paired up um, at each profile, and they were asked to create a form of technology for these people. And um, from that wānanga, there was some really interesting um, outcomes. 
of what Alfano perceived or what it would look like, like what form of technology would look like for our people. And a lot of it was very simple. So from that Wananga um, interesting corridor that came out of there was taking care of the whenua, learning about the whenua, knowing about her whenua, so this is in relation to the profile, uh, learning about the seeds, learning about how to plant, how to harvest, and learning about the maramataka. And um, these could be videos with printable resources. And uh, the reason why they came up with the idea about a video with printable resources is because we also have quite a lot of whānau who ain't um, technology savvy. Uh, we have a lot of komātua and kuia or whānau that live in rural areas who um, don't use technology. And um, so it's the idea of ensuring that resources that we create, um, they can be applied for all our whānau, no matter where they live. So a uh, whole whānau approach to connection of her whakapapa and connection to mātauranga Māori and connection to the maramataka. So that was one of the outcomes of our second wānanga. So from this process at the moment we are in a prototype so all this information was collated and taken back to the researchers and at this stage they are using all that information to prototype what this um, what this tool will look like um, we've all come to an agreement with our Pacific Fano and the um, the tool is called Ora slash Ola and I guess order and all are meaning the same thing and um, it, it was able to bind us together as one. So that was the uh, first model that, um, that was used in my role here at Toi Tangata. And I'd just quickly like to uh, send a big mihi out to Rangi Māori and Mules, who um, has been really influential in this um, in my role uh, learning about co-design. Uh, so tēnei te mihi atu kia koe te tuahine. So um, moving on to the second model. Uh, this model was um, part of my studies at Te Wānanga o Raukawa, part of my uh, degree in Pautua Rungo Kawa Oranga, uh, Māori Health Promotion and Sport Exercise. Um, the, I guess this was created, oh look, that's me and my whānau, so I'm a, a wife and a mother of three boys. And um, this model was inspired for myself and wanting to, we actually, here in Waifu too, we actually live in a power environment. Uh, we have our marae just around the corner and a radio station and our medical centre and our sports field. And I guess drawing off that community lifestyle, living in a par environment, um, I reflected on myself as a parent and um, assessing some of the things that I may need to improve as a mum. And so pa my model was a model desire, designed to inspire Fano or ourselves as a Fano to work collectively in the pursuit of koiora. Koiora meaning life and uh, tiara koiora being the quality of life or path towards a quality of life. So this was using a Bano centric model called uh, Pa Mayoro. Here we go. Um, where we are able to draw on the building and living systems of our ancestors as a metaphoric approach to whānau well-being. Um, for myself as a, as a mother and, and myself and my husband, you know, we both believe that whānau should always be at the forefront. Um, it should never be about an individual's journey because it is imperative to ensure whakapapa and the mana of your whānau is perpetuated. So, as you can see here, we have a pā. And um, pa was a representation of mana 
and were strategically designed to protect our people and whakapapa from invaders. So I use this as a model to reflect, um, as explained earlier, to reflect and re represent uh, my own whānau, to protect, elevate, uphold and perpetuate our own mana and, and whakapapa. So um, within the pa, we have a pātaka or ruakai, and um, the pātaka in this, in this model is a representation of the mātāpuno, or our principles and our values as a whānau. And so what we do in life and how we apply ourselves um, reflect through, through these values. So um, for us with whakapapa is the animate and inanimate relationships within te ao Māori, um, which is imperative to the perpetuation of knowledge, or mātauranga, and our culture. Um, te reo, I guess, uh, like my husband, he's been brought up um, with te reo being his first language, and for myself, I wasn't brought up in a te reo speaking environment. And I, like for me, not being brought up with te reo, um, for me, it's really important because to apply ourselves in a te ao Māori worldview, it's, um, or in te ao Māori in general, is important to have our reo. And, um, you know, it is our identity. Uh, wairua tanga is the understanding of our spiritual relationships with te ao kiko kiko, the physical form, and te ao i atea, the unseen form. So looking after our, our spiritual balance and uh, or our spiritual well-being and, and having that balance. Our rangatiratanga, intangibles are attainable. And I guess for me with Rangatira Tangas is for us to be the driver of our own goals and aspirations. And also, um, sometimes we find it, I guess we find it hard as Māori, but we need to embrace failure sometimes and um, look at failure in a positive light that from what we failed in, we can always do better in. And um, so we can always critique ourselves with failure, and failure is actually not such a bad thing. Um, it teaches us a lot of lessons, and it actually helps improve um, our resilience and our endurance, and our endurance to um, to attain the goals that we set out to achieve. Um, Manakitanga, so. I'm always a big believer that what we receive, uh, we must also give back. And um, I guess it's also important to nurture our whakapapa and our mātauranga, or manaki our, our whakapapa and our mātauranga, and continue to love and care for our people, even when they don't want to do for you. And, um, you know, that that's something that I guess, you know, I'm not sure that we've all been through, but I've definitely been through some personal experiences um, where sometimes, you know, you you have that little bit of bit of challenges with um, other whānau, and, but it's, you know, it's always imperative that aha ko te aha, you know, kei kone tonu koe. You know, you're still there, you're still there for them. And... Kaitiakitanga, so it's our obligation to understand our environments and the diversity in which surrounds us. And um, to understand that sometimes kaitiakitanga is not for us to um, say what we look after, but um, for our environment to dictate um, what we should look after. So koira ngā mātāpuno, so those are the values that we have put together as a whānau. Um, so this diagram here, I got off Google, but um, this diagram is actually a pā maioro. 
and um, as you can see, there are four different koike. And so my oro is the earthworks um, excavation or the wall fortifications that were made of aruhi and earth. And a lot of hard labor went into building each koike or each level of the pa, especially during excavation. So in the model that I'm about to present, uh, the process of building each koike is reflected through wānanga as a whānau, so ngā pūnaha whakaururuho, or our whānau systems. And our role, um, uh, metaphorically speaking, is working together to build our koeke through wānanga. So, um, before we actually established what our wānanga or our, our goals and our aspirations would look like as a whānau, we actually had a bit of a, um, a whānau wānanga on our way to Hawke's Bay uh, with our tamariki. And um, there were a lot of questions that we asked, um, for example, the things that were important to us, uh, things that we liked, uh, things that we disliked. And um, <laughs> from that wānanga, there were quite a few relationship issues with my boys. So they're all four years apart and um, they fight like mad, but they love each other more. So um, for myself and my husband, it was gathering all that corded on that information on how and using that to build on better relationships with, um, with each other and utilising the things that we all liked to do together as a whānau. So for our um, first koeke, so our first stage of our maioro, our first koeke, our koeke tuatahi, uh, we have three wānanga, three wānanga here, and um, the first one in the first column, uh, is uekaha, so that was more around our physical activity and our haura. And um, the second column being the taiao, so our, knowing that our well-being is actually drawn from our whenua. And uh, the third column being the kaiora. So um, going back to uekaha in the first column there, so through our Wānanga with uekaha, the things that um, were important for us before we moved to our next koeke was ngā kūnaha haura, so um, assessing our health. And it might seem really cliché, but at the time, myself and uh, I had a back injury and um, Toko had a shoulder injury. I just guess we're getting old. And um, Ngā Tainui, he plays quite a lot of sport and he was carrying a um, shoulder injury at the time as well. So um, identifying our, our assessments or identifying our well-being, our physical well-being, our inner, inner well-being um, through an assessment process. And um, Ngā Pūnaha Uekaha, so this was more around an assessment through our physical well-being or our physical activity on the things that we we can do and um, our middle falangabi uh, he doesn't always enjoy doing some of the things that we enjoy so um, if we go over to the park to play rugby he doesn't enjoy doing that so it was just trying to um, find a balance for us as a whanau and then from there katai e mato te whanau hei whakarite te tahi mahere how um, could we utilise all the information that we've gathered and um, set up a, a, a physical activity plan for our whānau. Um, moving, over, so moving over to the second column in the taiao, um, for us, our children really love pūrāko and our middle man, he's, um, he really actually enjoys learning about Atua Māori. So for our taiao, it was understanding all those different, all the different pūrāko within our area, for example, um, Ngake and Whātaitai, um, Pepeha. So our tamariki 
this year, our big boy, he started learning to map his pepeha. And um, me living in Wellington and, you know, their connections to Kahununu, it was important that they knew where their maunga and their awa and their marae were. Um, also, my husband being from here in Waifetu, but also Taranaki and um, Kafia Moana, um, it was a great opportunity to teach our tamariki through Google mapping on um, where they can actually find their maunga, their awa, their marae, their iwi. And um, lastly, there's Manaki Fenua is teaching our, our tamariki is that you know it is important to to look after our whenua um, because at the end of the day our well-being is, is drawn from the whenua and um, if we can't look after our whenua then you know we will actually perish ourselves. Um, moving over to the third column, Kaiora. Um, huinga kai. Uh, I guess that was that was more around Sometimes, as a parent, it's very, you get challenged quite a lot about um, kai. Sometimes your tamariki want McDonald's, but they don't understand um, the importance of eating healthy kai. We're probably fortunate enough that our kura, uh, te kura kaupapa Māori or te arafanui here in um, te awa kairangi, uh, they have a um, healthy kai plan at, at, at their kura, so um, we're really lucky in that, in that sense. But it's also important to understand what our kids like and what they don't like, because sometimes you can cook kai and they just won't eat it. So um, koe rā te take o te hui ngā kai. Ngā kaupeka, um, I guess we're, we're quite colonised in, in, in the seasons. Um, you know, we sort of look at all the things like autumn, the leaves fall, and winter, it's cold, and um, spring, it's just about summer, and, and um, you know, Raumati, it is summer. So um, with Ngā Kaupeka, it was important for us to teach our tamariki about the seasons, but also what foods um are gathered and planted in these different seasons and our maramataka or um our our, our moon phases um is, is something that i've actually enjoyed learning this year and the effects that it has on our kai gathering and and our kai planting um even weeding like, for example, um, tiria, hoata, or uenuku, and okoro um, are at a, t at a time where our, our water table, or te wayu or papatuanuku, um, our water table is really low. And so um, during this time is a, is a good time to, um, to weed. And also learning that it was also a good time back in the days for our whānau or our people, our ancestors, to, to build because they were able to um, get the wood and it was dry. So, um, you know, those are some of the, through those wānanga, those were the outcomes that we wanted for our whānau um, to learn. So, um, from that koeke, our koeke tuarua, um, like once we built the stage of koeke tuatahi and once we were able to learn and we were comfortable that we have achieved um, all these goals that we had set out in building our, our maioro or our first koeke, um, we then move on to our second koeke or koeke tuarua. And um, so with Uekaha, the things that we really enjoy doing as a whānau is uh, we play a lot of sports. Well, I, I'm sort of like semi-retired, but um, my husband likes to play a lot of sports and, and our son is, our eldest son is, is very sporty, plays rugby league and softball, does 
iron Māori and he's currently um, representing Wellington in touch rugby. Um, I enjoy doing exercise and our, our little ones who's seven and three, um, they actually really enjoy bike riding and currently we've just had a new mountain back bike track that's been put up um, on their maunga Pukeatua and so those were the physical activity or the physical, yeah, the physical activity programs that um, we put into for our um, koeke tuarua. So um, through that we haven't actually explained anything because for us it's about um, these three two. So for us in the human form being a um, representation of two mataoina, um, we have three different stages there um, to assist us on our on our journeys or to remind us mm -hmm. on how we can support each other uh, through the things that we like in physical activity. So to kaihikitia, to the uplifter. Um, I guess that's always the, the beginning stage of a of of anyone's journey if they're getting out there and, and physical activity is um, they've made that decision to start uh, to tengana, the persistent, to the persistent. So I guess that's more around um, continuing on in your journey and um, you know knowing that you've already made a start. So why not be persistent in, in the goals that, that you wish to achieve? and to the wanawana, to the inspirer. And so I guess for me as a mother, you know, I always, I, um, always hope that um, my children one day will inspire um, my mokopuna <laughs> um, and, and their friends and whanau as they get older. Um, the taio, so we enjoy outdoors and um, we try and get outdoors as often as we can. We're very, very super hugely lucky in, in Waifutu because Pukeatua, Te Maunga, is right on our back doorstep and so we're able to catch up with Pukeatua quite often um, and we actually live right between um, the Maunga and Waifutu Te Awa uh, with the marae being on our front doorstep as well. So we enjoy outdoors and um, but also with our taio, something that was really um, a huge eye opener through um, a, a, a tuahine of ours who works um, around Parakore um, was uh, recycling and, and rubbish. So, Hangarua and Parakore, so um, ensuring that um, we recycle as often as we can and trying to limit our rubbish. So um, limiting our rubbish was also trying to limit the use of plastic bags and glad wraps and recycle, wash and reuse um, containers. Um, and lastly, the hono aki te paiao, so ensuring that um, we're always out there um, in our taiao and catching up with our maunga, um, the ngahere, the moana, which is just down the road. Um, kai ora for our koeke tuarua. Um, the goal was around cooking together, sustainability and education. So a, a mahere kai, um, mahinga kai, being able to give our tamariki different responsibilities, whether it be cutting veggies, um, but also actually teaching them how to cook. Um, even even at a young age of seven, and I guess sometimes we just get too too paranoid because um, you know we've been told that we shouldn't do certain things. But um, when we look at the reality, you know, our kids can do anything as long as they have um, proper guidance. Mm -hmm. And um, marakai. Uh, learning to grow our own kai. I guess that's quite a lot of whanau's aspirations um, towards sustainability um, with the price of um, like veggies and, and or hua whenua and hua rako in our supermarkets but also the things that we grow um, you know that he kai kei aku ringa 
or the things that we gather here or the kai that we gather here kai kai akuringa and um yeah you sort of just don't really know what's in um what's being added to kai these days in supermarkets so um koira te koe ke tuaroa so this is an example of us building our second our second maioro and so it should look a little bit like this. Yay! Um, so on the bottom there, you've got Uekara, Taiao, and Kaiora uh, using these wananga to build the first foundations or the first koike um, or the first maioro of our pa. Um, the second maioro there. Um, is just what I've explained with koeke tuarua. And so from there, you can, um, the manawa ora and manawa roa is how do we actually bring these things together so that by the time we reach koeora, um, these things are just a part of life. Um, they're just a natural process of our everyday living. Um, it's not something that we have to categorize because we've managed to build um, these foundations together as a whanau to achieve that kūyora through these wānanga. Now you'll see these arrows over here and um, these arrows are the pātū watawata, uh, the stockades, and um, these pātū watawata is a reflection of our resilience. So for each koeke that we build, we also build in our resilience and our endurance um, as a whānau. So, um, I guess just to finish off, I mean, the, that's a whānau-centric model, a metaphorical model of a pā maioro in a nutshell. Um, but just to leave you, uh, with this whakatauki, um, mā te wānanga ka mōhio, mā te mōhio ka mārama, mā te mārama ka matau, mā te matau ka ora. Uh, nō reira, hei aku nui, hei aku rahi, ko tā koha ti aku rau aroha, hei huruhuru mou, uh, e tio me au kite, ki te pai tawhiti, a uh, mauri ora ki a koutou. I hope that you did um, get some valuable information from this. Um, hey, okay, kone tonu o. If you um, do have any any questions outside of this webinar, I'm always available via email. Um, or if you need a hand with anything around building any um, around creating models, I guess um, this is more of an example of how you could be innovative um, yourself on creating models that could probably fit within your own own iwi or, or utilize purako that can assist um, a community or a whānau on their on their hawaro journey. Te nā tato, hei um, whaka kapi mō tēnei ahua tango, uh, tēnei mā te tau. Um, tēnā koutou katoa mō tō whaka hoki ngā mai, <laughs> ia marama, ia marama, and we will have more webinars next year. We've already got a few organised with um, some different foundations. Um, I'm first up. <laughs> I'm Jan, first one of the year. And uh, we look forward some, to some different kaupapa. So as always, if you have some ideas, if you have some feedback, some constructive criticism to offer us, put it on mind. Tell us what you want to do and we'll try our best to connect with the right people and get the appropriate kōrero and koho, appropriate presentations and mātou and mātou out to you guys. Nō reira, hei kōnā mō tēnei kou. Kahi te. Mauri ora. Mauri ora.